Greetings. I am here at Ms. Swayden's page, and she is a fourth grade teacher at Glen Lake who inspired me with an idea. So I want to share it with you. I'm going to travel down her page. She's just started this course into her social studies topic block. And she's created, she has um, created using the assignment module an online assignment for her students to do in class. So I'm going to turn editing on, which I can do in my settings block. And I wanted to remind you that to create this activity, she went under add an activity and she chose online text. And in this case, what students would see is some content and then an add submission button that if they, when they click on it, they could um, add text into that submission box for, to be stored in Moodle for the teacher to see. So I'm going to click so that you can see this assignment. And what inspired me is the fact that she embedded content in her page. And she embedded content from a site called Tripline. And I think she learned about that from Mark Garrison at one of our best practices sessions. So her question is, use what we learned about commerce in the 19th century and the map below to answer the following questions. So she's um, challenging the students to use prior knowledge from other activities in the class and then also to use this map that she created in this free site called Tripline. So in Tripline, you can go to full screen. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'm just going to click on the play button. And if you click on the play button, it goes to each of the place markers. Okay, I'm going to take the music away and just, just to note that a student could click to read the entire um, text for that particular place marker that she put in place. All right, and then the idea is that the students then answer these questions by putting all of their experiences together. So let's just, I'm going to go to a different tab because I have the Tripline website open, which I will provide you in this assignment. And so this is a website that's free to make animated maps that can be embedded. And that's sort of my favorite part is that they're embeddable in other websites. And you could um, use your Facebook account to sign into this so you don't have to create an, another account. Just keep in mind that you, if you do that, that you won't be able to log in while you're at school to make one. You can display one, but you can't make one at school because uh, Facebook is blocked in our district right now at least. All right, so then your question might be, well, okay then, if you post an online text assignment, what do I as the teacher see? So I want to show you that. So if, um, I'm back at our course page, and if I click on one of these assignments, you will notice that in the upper right-hand corner it says view the 16 submissions. So if I click on that, this is what the teacher sees and this is I could scroll here oops no I don't want to scroll like that I could scroll back and forth like this so that you could go in and you could click on the grade button to provide feedback for that student you could also um, sort it by last submitted so if you wanted to see the ones that you had not graded you click on this header once click on it twice and then it will show you um, those individuals who have submitted this and then you could look below to see who has not submitted it. Now the other thing you can do is you can always click here and filter down to just those who have submitted the assignment. All right, so it's really handy. I suppose I could show you really quickly if I scroll over here. Um, if I was gonna grade this, I click on this hot link and it opens uh, a page with the submission from the student, in this case, Jill. Um, I set it up so that I could use a pull down menu to give an overall grade and then I'm able to put some comments in there and then I click Save Changes. So that is how the online text assignment works.